Alright, dungeon, I, I don't want to... <sighs> okay. Uh, adventure games, the dungeon, we have to talk. Y your brother, Volcanic Island, is bad! <laughs> Let's talk about it! What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review, and today I'm very excited for checking out Adventure Games Discover the Story, The Volcanic Island from Cosmos. This is for one to four players, age is 12 plus, and this will take you, uh, what is it, 300 minutes to play. You'll play over four different sessions, and they're roughly 75 minutes a pop. And if you haven't heard of the adventure game series it's a really cool kind of choose your own adventure adventure game where you get dropped into this scenario and you can play as four different characters and you have to try and find items and talk to people and combine things together and it really kind of feels a little bit almost like a point and click sort of adventure where you go from point to point and they're they're all done by these cards and larger cards that are like tarot sized cards that have different locations and you can explore those different locations and try and interact to solve mysteries and do different things now me and my son sean uh who is seven did the uh, the original one which was in a dungeon it was really fun but it wasn't a perfect game there were some major issues that we were where we got stuck once or twice and it was kind of hard to figure it out because the the main cool thing about this game is you can do it with this included adventure book and it's a, such a chunky book with lots and lots and lots and lots of text or you can download their app which is actually really helpful it reads it out loud and it has a tip section where you can help find tips Remember that. It's going to come into play a little bit later. But in the volcanic island, you are stranded on an island and there's a big volcano on it and you're trying to uh, do stuff. I can't go too much into it. I'm going to try and not spoil anything. But here's the first disclaimer I need to say before we get into this review, which is I did not finish the game. Didn't finish it. So let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons, and we'll talk exactly why. So first on the pro side... They have clearly taken the things that they have learned, taken, to, they, they've learned from their past mistakes and some things, and they've added cool new mechanisms. Let me rephrase that. They've added cool mechanisms to this game. Like, there's a new character that will come about throughout the game, and there's some special abilities, and there's some neat new things that, are, that they're pulling out of the hat here. And overall, for what we played, which I think was about 70 to 80% of the game, we enjoyed some of the new things. And that's the pro. <laughs> um, also on the pro side, it's still, the app is still overall well done, and it makes it great, especially if you have people who are not the best at reading. And that's what I got on the pros, because moving on to the cons, the Adventure Games of Volcanic Island is a gigantic, jumbled, confusing mess of a game and there were elements in the original dungeon one where that poked its ugly head and i remember one scenario where we got into like this underground cave or something like that i don't remember exactly what it was and there was water everywhere and we couldn't figure out what to do and so we just had to like skip forward like half of a chapter because that was the only way we could figure out how to do it and that once again happened in this game not once but twice and we just kind of got to a certain point and, and uh, like, uh, this is not too much of a spoiler, but Sean was trapped somewhere and I was not trapped. And so I was like, okay, so I have to get him out. But in theory, since you don't actually take turns in this game, you can kind of do actions all willy nilly. It essentially got to the point where Sean was like, I don't, I don't know what else I can do in this area and I'm stuck and it's not fun. And I was like, no, it's not fun. So we said, all right, we'll come back to it. Fresh brain, leave it out on the table. Came back to the next day, spent like 30 minutes of frustration, just absolute frustration trying to figure it out. And here's the other thing I need to mention. It started off that this was me, my seven-year-old, and my five-year-old all playing together. My five-year-old got incredibly frustrated at the beginning, and he quit. And then my seven-year-old and I eventually just sort of didn't finish the game, and we tried to come back to it. And it just, it held no interest for it, because we knew when we came back to it, it was just going to be us trying to figure out how we could possibly advance the game while still trying to understand the story and the story is <sighs> whatever the story's not particularly good um we're on the cons right yeah i, I can just it's just it, it doesn't feel like this is play tested like it doesn't feel like it was blind play tested at all i i i have a hard time believing that it was because i it's, it's just it's so confusing <laughs> You know, I'm not the best at puzzleless games or escape games. And here's 
Here's the best, the worst part about this is that as I'm saying it's confusing, you say, yeah, but you mentioned there was a really good tip system. There is a really good tip system and it still didn't help. And I am not joking. This is no hyperbole in any way, shape or form. I probably have spent a good 70 to 90 minutes, I would say in that ballpark range, trying to get us back on track, trying to get me and my son back on track to play this game. Because I remember how much fun it was. The dungeon one. We played it over three days and every day we were chomping at the bits to explore deeper into the dungeon and try and escape the dungeon and learn about the different characters. And that's what I wanted from this. And I thought they would learn from it. But they, they didn't. And Adventure Games of Volcanic Island is bad. Like, it's just, it's it's just, it's, no, I can't. And I know, you know, saying something is bad is like, oh, that's your opinion. But it's like, just, you know, the worst game I ever reviewed was a game called Doggy Doo. And I gave it a one because after a certain point in time, the Doggy Doo stopped working and it just, the game just stopped working. It became a broken game. And I have played, quite literally, thousands of games. This is, <laughs> this is over my thousandth review. And I've played thousands of other games. The fact that I could not finish this game annoys me to death. And I am done with it. I will never play it again. I have invested far too much time into the adventure games of Volcanic Island uh, to even recommend it. So normally I don't shoot reviews when I don't play the game. Because, you know, that's... that's uh, duh. But for this one, I will comment on the first 70 to 80% of the game. And I will say it was not a fun time. It was confusing. The story was not great. It had a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. But in the end, go get Volcanic Island the Dungeon or the other one that's probably not a dumpster fire where you're like, it's, it's a futuristic looking one. But this one, no. Cannot recommend. We got completely log jammed and uh, that's not fun. <laughs> that really ruins the fun for the game. So Volcanic Island from Adventure Games, not one I can recommend but there you go. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, in the comments below, let me know what would be an awesome theme that you would like for an adventure style game like this. For personally, I would love to see one on escaping the Titanic or the Hindenburg or some sort of uh, real life natural disaster that's happened but it's happened so far in the past that you can talk about it without people getting offended you know obviously you're not going to be doing one on like 9 11 or something like that but the crazy way time works you can do it on the titanic all day no one bats an eye i always found that kind of odd but but yes i uh, i would i would love to do it on a real life historical situation i think that'd be very very cool but let me know in the comments below and as always thanks for your time youtube